Today I'd like to do a video as part of my emergency bucket kit. And this particular segment is gonna focus on illumination. Now these emergency bucket kits are designed to complement the items that one might already have in their home, even if they don't consider themselves a prepper. And for this particular video, we're gonna focus on illumination. Let's get started. With illumination, I try to follow the rule of three and have three different options. One being a flashlight, also a headlamp, and a lantern. There are a lot of different premium options that you could go with here, but since this particular kit is designed to be built on a budget, I'm going with more budget conscious items. If you go over to your local Costco store, you could pick up a pack of the Duracell Durabeam Ultra flashlights. They come in various sizes. You could go with the larger size, which is 700 lumens that runs on three C cell batteries, or you could go with the smaller version, which comes in a four pack, and that's 350 lumens and it runs on three AAA batteries. Neither of these versions are quite as nice as those premium flashlights that we're more accustomed to from companies such as Phoenix, 4.7s, Through Night, Nightcore, Olight, Streamlight, you name it. But for this type of kit, they work perfect. Each one of these packs is less than $20 with the batteries. So you could get two of the larger size flashlights for less than $20 with batteries, or you could get four of the smaller version of the Duracell Durabeam Ultra for less than $20. So you could spread that out amongst multiple kits. For this particular kit, I would recommend going with one of the larger flashlights as the primary flashlight of the bucket kit, and then having one of the smaller ones for each person in your household. So for this particular video, I'm just gonna design it for one person. You could expand it as needed for your particular household. The build quality is fairly decent with these flashlights. Again, we're talking less than $20 for a pack of them. With the larger version of the flashlight, you're able to focus the beam so it has an adjustment where you could have more flood or more throw with it. And the smaller flashlights does have that battery cradle, which I'm not a big fan of, but at this price point, I'll take it. Uh, but with all of these type of emergency bucket kits, make sure that you store the batteries outside of the electronic devices so they're not just sitting there for multiple years and could end up damaging the actual equipment when you need to use it most. So store the batteries outside of it. So let's store the primary flashlight on top of the bucket kit for quick access. For example, during a power outage, that could be one of the first things that you grab is your flashlight. Now again, I have the battery stored outside of the flashlight for long-term storage, just to help protect uh, the internal circuitry of the flashlight when you really need it. For a budget-friendly headlamp, I would recommend going with the Energizer 3 LED headlamp. This one costs less than $10. It only has two modes on it, with the top mode being at 50 lumens. It runs on three AAA batteries, which are included with the headlamp, and it's just a great deal for a good quality headlamp. So again, the Energizer 3 LED headlamp. When following the rule of three for illumination, I wanted to make sure that I had at least one option that was rechargeable. So while I do have other favorite lanterns out there, this one's hard to beat for this particular kit. This is the M-Powered Lucy Original Inflatable Solar Light. It costs around $13, and I think I first learned about it from a video from Budget Bug Out a few years back. So this is an inflatable, collapsible, lightweight, waterproof LED lantern that only requires the sun. So there's no additional batteries with this one. You're just going to charge it in direct sunlight during the day for several hours, and then you'll use it for several hours at night. And it's very surprising on how much light this little lantern produces. It has 10 LEDs with three modes in it. So you have a high mode, a low mode, and a one second flashing mode. And then you also have a charge indicator so you know how much battery life is left. So for the purpose of this emergency bucket kit, you're going to store this in the collapse position and then when you actually need to use it, you're going to inflate it. It's very easy to inflate. It's very lightweight as well, 4.4 ounces, and then just charge it in direct sunlight. It could even be raining at the time while it's charging since it is waterproof. Again, it's impressive on how much light this produces. This is a nice little lantern to include in a variety of different kits, not just this emergency bucket kit, but also, for example, in a bug out bag. I'll include a link in the description box below to this particular lantern in addition to that review that Budget Bug Out did a few years back. Let's also store that solar charged Lucy Lantern on the top of the emergency bucket as well and do it in the collapse position. Again, for quick access, you might want to just put this right onto the sun if there was a power outage to charge it up if it's been sitting there for an extended period of time. So again, the lantern on top. That concludes all of the items for the big three of illumination, flashlight, headlamp, and lantern. We're gonna store the majority of them in their own little separate module of this emergency bucket kit, and then we're gonna store that primary flashlight up on top. Let's move on to some additional illumination items, starting off first with some chem lights. Now I include these in almost all of my emergency kits, whether it be a bug out bag, in my vehicle, in my home preps, and also in this emergency bucket kit. 
The brand that I prefer are the Kyloom Snaplight Green Glow Sticks. They're the 6 inch industrial grade version ultra bright light sticks with up to a 12 hour duration. They come in a pack of 10 and they have a lot of different purposes whether you just want to light up a particular area, you don't want to waste batteries, again batteries not required for this, you're just going to snap it in the middle, mix up the solution and it's going to create a very bright neon glow light that will last for several hours throughout the night. They work great for illuminating an area. You could also give them out to the kids and they're just kind of having a great time. So if the power goes out, give the kids, instead of having them waste batteries, give them a glow stick. They'll be very, very happy. So again, the Kyloom Snaplight Green Glow Sticks. Speaking of kids, if you don't necessarily want to waste one of your nice Kyloom snap lights or even the batteries for one of your flashlights, I would recommend picking up the Lumistick Glow Stick Bracelets. It comes in a tube of 100 of mixed colors. They're 8 inches long. They're not as bright as the Kyloom snap lights, but they're pretty decent and the kids are going to love them. So that you'll wrap them around their wrist, you'll be able to see them, even if it's pitch black at your home. And you could also use them as markers for other things. For example, if you want to mark off your fence or anything like that, you could use these glow sticks since it comes in a tube of 100. Uh, you have plenty of them to use throughout a power outage. So again, the Lumistick Glow Stick Bracelets. And finally, how could our illumination supplies be complete without some tea light candles? Now you could purchase these at almost any store, whether it be the dollar store, Target, Walmart, Fred Meyers, you name it, they're going to have some tea light candles. If you're looking online, the brand that I prefer are the Zion Judaica tea light candles, the unscented set of 120, and they have a fairly decent burn time. Now in my opinion, you can never have too many tea light candles. You could purchase them in bulk for a decent price. But for the purpose of this particular emergency bucket kit, I would recommend having at least three tea light candles per person per night with a minimum of 72 hours. So if per person, you're gonna have nine tea light candles. So if you have four people in your household, you're gonna times that by four. And I would just recommend putting those in a Ziploc bag, wrapping them up so it's in a nice little cylinder, and then you could store the remaining or the leftover tea lights that came in the pack that you purchased with your normal stash of tea light candles. So now we're gonna store the majority of the illumination items in their own separate module for this emergency bucket kit. All we'll really need is a few small bags and one large gallon size Ziploc bag. Let's start putting all of the smaller illumination items into the Ziploc bag that's going to serve as our illumination module. Starting off first with the glow sticks, I would recommend including three glow sticks per person for this particular kit. You're going to be able to use one glow stick each night for a single person. Next, if you happen to have kids, I would recommend including three of the glow stick bracelets per kid into the module. For all of the items that have batteries, I would recommend storing those batteries outside of the particular item. I like using the small craft Ziploc bags that you could pick up in any kind of craft store like Hobby Lobby, for example. You could buy them in bulk, like in a pack of 500 or something like that for very inexpensive, and just store the batteries inside of those small Ziploc bags so they're not going to get damaged if they're stored inside of the item itself. Now just put the remaining items into the Ziploc bag that's going to serve as our module. Now since I have a slight case of OCD, I like labeling and color coordinating my modules. So I'm going to get out my label maker and make an illumination label for it. And I'm going to use yellow paper because yellow in the color of prepping video represents illumination items, also nav as well. So I'm going to use a yellow piece of paper and use that to help identify the illumination items. So at the end of it, we'll have a nice little illumination module burrito that's going to be yellow quite visible so when we're looking into the emergency bucket kit we're going to look for the yellow module in there and that'll tell us those are the illumination items we're now ready to store this illumination module inside of the emergency bucket kit for long-term storage again if you have more people in your household you want to make sure that everyone has their own illumination devices for example a flashlight and a headlamp at the very least that's going to do it for this video featuring the items of illumination for the emergency bucket kit. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this video and what items you think should be included with regard to illumination in this kind of emergency bucket kit. Again, I designed them in a way that complements items that one might already have in their home and it can be owned by someone that doesn't even consider themselves to be a prepper but wants to have a basic set of gear available for them for an emergency situation. So leave your comments below in the comment section and stay tuned for the next video of this urban emergency bucket kit video series. See you guys next time.